Well, across Texas, a tornado in central Texas destroyed homes and left several people injured. Our Jayla Washington is out there and shows us the aftermath as recovery efforts they begin. This down power line right here really puts into perspective just how strong that tornado was. A local official is telling us it traveled all the way along this highway, just completely leaving a path of destruction. I mean, just take a look at those trees there behind me that are snapped. And a lot of the homes we're seeing out here are ruined. The bulldozers crunching through snapped trees and crumbled homes, sure. They show you the impact of a bad storm. But it's really stories from families like Naomi Benavidez's. I cried it all out. That's what really shows you how a vicious tornado changes lives forever. That's all I have is just size. Benavidez's sister, her sister's husband, and their two kids are all now in the hospital. She was picking up her, holding on to her babies as much as she could. The little girl, she had to hold on to her by her hair. And so they end up getting lifted up from the trailer and just thrown into the trees. Benavides and other relatives are walking through collecting what's still worth saving. This is probably the laundry room door. Stunned to see what her sister and family called home gone. But that's not the most heartbreaking part. She was pregnant uh, about three months or so. So she lost her baby today. The Bell County judge says the tornado roared for eight miles, hurting 23 people. Twelve ended up in hospitals. We know of no one that's not accounted for at this time. Still, people are without power and water. So one of the main priorities is getting that restored and making sure no one is buried under rubble. It is uh, not... Uh in any sense, a minor miracle. Now carried by their faith, Benavides hopes for another miracle as she waits for their family to recover. This is going to be a slow process for everyone.